it is currently October 15th and um, NaNoWriMo is coming up in a couple weeks. I have not done enough prepping for this. I should have more done. I have a very basic outline so far, but that's about it. I've not gone into characterization. I've finally picked my names for my characters, but I don't know them very well yet. And honestly, I don't know how well I'm going to get to know them before NaNoWriMo starts. I have a lot going on. I really should be doing homework right now, and I'm not. And I have a lot to do. So what I have as far as outlining goes is I have a very basic premise. Um, I know how everything's going to end. So that's not as bad. I just need to write it out. I, I keep looking at my laptop screen because it's there. I have a very, very basic outline and idea of what everything's going to look like, but I just need to flesh it out and really see it on the screen before NaNoWriMo starts. That's going to be the most helpful thing to me. And I need to actually write up my outline of a more detailed like chapter by chapter, what's going to happen kind of thing. Um, it's also going to be fun this year because I got two of my friends to join me for NaNoWriMo and my roommate's also doing it. She's not here right now because she's at a author meet and greet. I guess I'm a lot less prepared for NaNoWriMo than I want to be. And I don't know how long this vlog is going to be, um, but I do want to spend as much free time as I can over the next couple weeks fleshing out my story before I get down to writing it during NaNoWriMo. I really don't know how it's going to work out this year. I'm doing a lot. Um, I am part of my school's dance team. I work on campus and I'm doing two different things with the school's media hub and so I don't have a lot of free time. But I'm hoping that I will get to put in a decent amount of time to writing. Honestly, I could get it I could really get started after this week. Um, I just really need to sit down and start writing and get to a better place with my story where I can flesh it out and be satisfied with what I'm working with for November. Um, I will be vlogging throughout NaNoWriMo, but it's going to be different. Last year I, well actually no, last year I didn't vlog. The previous year in 2015, I um, did a month-long vlog, so I had a vlog at the end of the month talking about my experiences and like my daily word count and everything. This time, I think I want to do a weekly vlog just because um, I'm obviously going to be talking about my stuff and I guess my roommate will probably be talking about her stuff as well. And we're going to pre-film a video, I think. Um, we might pre-film the NaNoWriMo tag, I don't really know yet. But I have a couple of NaNoWriMo related videos that I want to put up during the month. So it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot more content for me. Um, I know I've been really slacking the past few months. It's just been hard getting back into school and trying to keep up with this. And I have a bunch of reviews I still have to write. So I'm really not in the best place to be keeping up with this much social media and content and stuff. But I am trying. And you will get to see a lot of my room. Um, and probably different parts of my library during NaNoWriMo because I'm probably just going to spend a lot of time in there. And um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks before NaNoWriMo starts. Hopefully I get everything done that I need to get done. I will continue updating you guys as that happens. Yeah, I kind of feel bad about not really updating you guys as far as my writing goes. I have a bunch of new ideas but not really the time to flesh it out. Um, all I've been focusing on is th my novel for this year, which is a mystery. And this is the first time I'm delving straight into like an actual mystery. Um, it's gonna be interesting, it's gonna test my skills. And I really like my idea, so hopefully it works out. Um, you guys know that I was working on Venture and trying to redraft it and what happened was I just realized I was in a place where I can't redraft it right now because I'm holding on to the original idea so much that I really can't make it anything else. So I'm going to set that aside. I don't know when I'm going to touch it or if I'm ever going to touch it again, but that's going to get set aside and I think the next time I try to revise something it'll probably be my Nano 2015 novel which was about a spy infiltrating a high school. Um, I really like that idea too. I think that I can really work with to do a lot more because I just ha I was in a better place as a writer, so tweaking that will be easier. So Venture is currently on the back burner. 
um, my novel for this year does not have a name. If you look me up on NaNoWriMo, and I will um, put my NaNoWriMo information in the bottom bar down below. But if you look at my <laughs> NaNoWriMo novel, it says I'm not good with titles or something like that. Um, and my description says, ha, you wish, which is very much like me. Oh, the winter shirts are out. Oh, I can, I really want to pre-order this. I should not be doing, I should not be looking at this right now. I will <laughs> look at that when I get my next paycheck. Um, but yeah, that is my writing as of right now. And I will update you guys the next time I write. It's October 28th and it's been a while since my last clip. I have been updating my NaNoWriMo story a little bit, not as much as I would like to, but I am going to spend the next three days finishing up the plot, doing my outline, finishing up my character stuff. Um, I'm probably doing a little bit of that over NaNoWriMo as well. I know what I want the plot to be and how I want it to end, so it's not as bad. I have all that down. I just need to write an outline that's going to take me the longest amount of time. Problem is, um, I have a massive school project that I need to get done and I don't really know um, how much time I can spend on NaNoWriMo because this is a huge Photoshop project and I still need to take the photos for it and it's due Tuesday. So we'll see how much sleep I get over the next few days. I'm already losing a lot of sleep in the past few days just because of schoolwork and other things that I've committed to. So um, I don't really know how my writing is going to go for the rest of October. I've been trying to figure out a way to balance school and work and this, and I don't know how NaNoWriMo is going to go this year. I think I can win. If I could win last year, I think I can do it this year. It's just a lot of time management and I will be better about it. But because I don't have a lot of content for you guys right now, I'm actually going to show you what my bullet journal looks like for NaNoWriMo. So the lighting is absolutely terrible, but this is what I have to track NaNoWriMo with. This is actually a spread that Boho Berry created, and I really liked it, so I changed it up a little bit. Um, most of this is what she did, but I added my own little spin to it, um, just kind of with the font and like the 2017, and just how this part is arranged. Um, also, I have a quote from Victoria Schwab that I really like, and I just thought it would be nice for NaNoWriMo because it is a good reminder. I'm not writing a book, I'm writing a chapter. I'm not writing a chapter, I'm writing a page. I'm not writing a page, I'm writing a line. Um, it's a really good reminder, and I like this tracker a lot because now I have something visual to carry with me when I don't have my laptop, and it's just nice to be able to see it. I I'm not the most visual person, but I do like visually being able to track things. And this is the first year I'm going to have a lot of trackers because I'm going to have this, which I love. And this is also going to be the most colorful spread I have in my entire bullet journal. And then I have this. So this is from Hamilton. Um, I'm going to write my words written today on top in pink. And I have my total words for the day. And it's going to continue stacking up and I kind of get to see like the progression of how it stacks up because I used to have a printout calendar. Someone on the NaNoWriMo forums used to, I think her name was Margie something. I'll find her username and put it on the screen. She used to do calendars for me and I have had one, I think two years of NaNoWriMo. She did one for me that was Stidia from Teen Wolf and she did another one that was Hamilton last year. And um, it was really great. Like I really loved it. A lot and it was great to be able to track how many squares I had um, like how much I wrote each day how many squares I got to color in and the total I had for that day like adding them up so it was just I don't, I'm not explaining this very well but um, yeah it'll be nice to see like how much I wrote that day and then the total as like the days keep adding up instead of just being able to see like like that, it'll be nice to also just see it here. And then I can also see how many words I wrote each day because I want, I like being able to track that. That was one of my favorite things actually about the trackers that I had the past two NaNoWriMo's. It was really convenient just to see my word count each day. Okay, those are my NaNoWriMo spreads and I just have a calendar here. Um, but yeah, it's gonna help a lot 
with tracking and it's also going to remind me that I need to write because that's kind of important during NaNoWriMo. If I don't write, I'm just, it's, it's going to be bad and I'm going to be really embarrassed because I got my roommate into it this year and I got two other friends into it. I'll, I'll feel really bad if I got them into it and then I end up not participating at all. NaNoWriMo is going to start in a few days and I'm not ready for it. There's so much to get done and I I'm just going to have to figure out a way to manage my time better and maybe survive on less sleep for the entire month of November. So yes, I have changed since the last clip. Um, I'm also talking a little quieter because Maggie's asleep. And um, yeah, I have a lot to get done tomorrow or technically today because I'm um, trying to get as much done as possible before NaNoWriMo starts. Yes, my bullet journal is going to be how I'm tracking NaNoWriMo for I will be using the website as well, but I also want to have something I can carry with me that doesn't require internet access. So having my bullet journal is going to be handy and also um, it's just it's nice to see that accomplishment is something I can flip to instead of always having to go online to. I'm trying really hard to set aside as much time as possible for NaNoWriMo, especially the first few days, but a lot of stuff's already happening that day. I'm going to a soccer game that day. Actually, that's, and I'm working that day. Um, so I don't know how much time I'm going to get to write, but if everything goes as planned, I will start writing exactly at midnight and I'll keep writing until I hit at least a thousand words. Um, and I still have to outline. That's something I need to do Monday, I think get the first part of my outline really down um i need to finish up character stuff i don't even know what my i know my main character is hair and eye color but i need to figure out what everyone else looks like just because it's gonna help a lot better than not knowing at all what they look like i need to figure out when their appearance is and yeah i just have a lot of stuff to do and not a lot of time to do it and Part of me is really annoyed that I don't have that much time and I'm kind of beating myself up about it because I could have started planning a lot sooner, but I didn't. And yeah, also Stranger Things, like season two of Stranger Things is out now and so I really want to watch it, but I'm going to rewatch season one first. My, um, Maggie's already rewatched season one. And I want to rewatch season one, but I don't have the time for that, so I don't, I honestly don't know when I'm going to have the time for anything this month. Or next month but we'll see how things go and I think this will probably be my last update before NaNoWriMo begins I will survive NaNoWriMo this year and hopefully I will win again and we'll see you guys will get to join me on that so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it I know this was a very jumbled vlog but I do hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more writing content and I guess I'll see you guys later bye